Hi, this is Dr. Peter Kahn. Today I'm going to talk about a neurometabolic integration product called Hepato-GSH. This product supports the glutathione recycling system naturally. Now, what is the function of glutathione? Glutathione serves as a cellular protection, serves as an antioxidant. Basically what it serves is like a bodyguard. Okay, it takes a bullet for you. So when your cells become inflamed, the glutathione actually takes a bullet for you, so spare the cell, so your cell does not get damaged. Uh, glutathione also protects the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the, the organelle inside your cell that produces energy. So what happens when you have inflammation, the mitochondria gets damaged, and therefore the cell loses the ability to make energy, and the cell dies. This is what happens when you have inflammation. That's why a lot of people experience fatigue and brain fog. Glutathione function also supports the T regulatory cell function. This is that part of the immune system called the TH3 immune system that regulates your immune system. And that's also the part that's busted in people with autoimmune disease. It also balances that Th1, Th2 dominance. When you have autoimmune disease, your immune systems are either Th1 or Th2 dominant. There's a separate video that I talked about that you can access uh, that's on our website and uh, that we discuss in detail about Th1 and Th2 dominance. Glutathione also supports healthy gut barrier function and also healthy blood, bar blood brain barrier function. So if you have leaky gut or you have blood, bra blood brain barrier breach, glutathione can support that. It also supports heavy metal detoxification and also optimized detoxification. In fact, glutathione conjugation is one of the six phase, phase two liver detox pathways. Now there are two different forms of glutathione in your body. So the way it works is that your body takes different type of nutrient like N-cysteine and L-glutamine, different nutrients, amino acid, and make glutathione. Okay? And the glutathione it makes is called reduced glutathione, or GSH. Okay? This reduced glutathione is the bodyguard that takes the bullet for you. Now what happens is once it takes the bullet, this bodyguard breaks apart, turns into what's called oxidized glutathione, or GSSH. This oxidized glutathione can actually be a, an oxidant or a reactive oxidation species by itself. It can be inflammatory. If your body has a lot of glutathione, it'll pair with this oxidized glutathione. It'll get recycled. There's an enzyme called glutathione re, uh, reductase that converts glutathione, the, reduced glu uh, the oxidized glutathione, back into the reduced form, the bodyguard that you want. So your body is constantly recycling between these two forms. You have the bodyguard glutathione, when it's used up, that becomes oxidized, which cannot be used, and your body turn it back into the glutathione. So this is something, a process that's naturally happening in your body. Now, however, with stress and infection and autoimmune disease and inflammation, what happens is your body runs out of glutathione because you can only remake this glutathione so many times in a day. You only have so much capacity to do that. So the more fit we can make the system, more efficient, that your body can recycle glutathione, then it's going to improve your antioxidant status and help you improve function. So there's a link between poor glutathione recycling and autoimmune disease. Studies show a direct correlation between the breakdown in the glutathione system and autoimmune disease. In fact, the ability to constantly take the oxidized glutathione and recycle it back into the reduced glutathione, or GSH, is critical to managing autoimmunity. Studies have also shown that efficient glutathione recycling also help boost the Th3 system. That's that T regulatory cells, that part of the immune system that regulate your immunity. This branch of the immune system that helps you balance Th1 and Th2 system and prevent autoimmune reactivity. Glutathione recycling also helps repair leaky gut. Studies show that glutathione may play an important role in gut barrier function and the prevention of intestinal inflammation. And I will add to that, glutathione also helps with blood-brain barrier inflammation as well. So Hepato-GSH, this product is uniquely formulated to boost the glutathione recycling system naturally. Use this product to support autoimmune conditions. If you have thyroid problem, most people with thyroid issue have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune condition. This can really help. Also, if you have inflammation in your body, if you want to support detoxification, you can use glutathione uh, Hepato-GSH to improve glutathione recycling system and also glutathione conjugation. Also, you may want to use Hepato-GSH when you're trying to heal leaky gut, and also during times of infection to support the immune system, to help you get over it faster. So those are all the different uses of it. Now, a lot of patients ask me, hey, what's the difference between Hepato-GSH, the glutathione recycling product, versus taking just straight glutathione as in the optimal liposomal glutathione product that we have? 
Well, the optimal glyposomal glutathione, when you take straight up glutathione, what it does is it increases the level of glutathione in your body, okay? which is useful because when you run out of glutathione, your cells get damaged, your immune system doesn't regulate, you get a lot of problems. So when you take liposomal glutathione, or you take straight up glutathione, you're gonna get a glutathione level to increase in your body. However, again, once you use it up, then you don't have any more. Then you gotta keep retaking this to get glutathione in your system. On the other hand, if you use hepato-GSH, it's gonna improve your glutathione recycling. You see, it's improving your body's ability to recycle and regenerate its own glutathione. And when you make this system more fit, it's a 24-7 process. It's doing it on its own all the time so that you don't have to take glutathione from another source. So what happens a lot of time when people have acute inflammation, acute crisis, then I'll give them optimal liposomal glutathione. And then when they get into the maintenance stage where I want their body to be more fit to be able to make its own glutathione, then I'll use hepato-GSH as an ongoing process. Or in some people, I may give them both the optimal liposomal glutathione to boost glutathione level in the body while giving them hepatitis GSH to improve glutathione recycling so they have both mechanisms working and they recover a lot faster. So those are just some of the uses for it. And uh, again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this product.